Hello violinists, welcome to Brown Strings. I'm Henriette and today we are playing Lift Off from the Fiddle Time Joggers book. I'll play it for you first. second time bar so I've skipped the first time bar you can do that as well in your practice because uh, once you get the technique right you can just play it twice over can't you uh, but the second time bar the one right at the end is a bit different so that's why I like to do that one and practice it the most now you have perhaps um, recognized that there are a few techniques here that we're using first of all we need to go over our uh, elbow levels again that we have been discussing before so let's practice that before we play it and what I'd like you to do for an exercise is to place your bow in the middle on the E string and just recognize that your right elbow is in its lowest position now start raising your elbow without thinking what's happening to the bow so my elbow leads the way you see until I go to the G string and now let it drop again and as a result of you moving your elbow, the bow will automatically change strings. So we're not thinking I'm going to put the bow on a different string because that, that's when you might use smaller muscle groups, in this case your wrist. But I'm thinking I'm going to lift up my elbow and that's how I come to change strings. So that's one technique that is being used here in this piece. Let's practice that, shall we? So let's play it from the beginning and let's focus predominantly on our right elbow. Now, when I'm playing, I'm starting right at the heel of the bow, and then whenever there is a rest, I've finished here, and then you have the rest, and you do a little circle in the air with your bow, and place the bow onto the string again at the heel for your next group of three notes. And you want to always make sure that you place the bow first before you actually go, so you don't get to go from the air and go into your bow stroke straight away. No, there's always this moment of placing the bow on the string and then going. You see, that is slightly different. So here we go. Let's get your bow ready on the E string here and I'll count us in for four. One, two, three, four. Little circle, now place the bow. And off you go. Little circle, place the bow. Rest. Rest. Now adjust your elbow level because we're going to the A here. Little circle, place the bow. Place the bow before you play. That's it. Place the bow first. Now think about your elbow level. Place the bow. Little circle. Think about your elbow level. Little circle. Place the bow first. Well done. And this is absolutely genius to have a long bow there right at the end because then not only can you work on your elbow levels and your little circles and placing the bow, but also right at the end it can pass your mind just to stretch that bow arm forwards. So let's play that second time bar one more time, shall we? 
So we're on the A string after four. One, two, three, four. Long, stretch your bow on. Lovely stuff, really good. Now, that is a lot to think about in a short space of time and you're doing great because you're thinking about the right techniques. Now in a minute, we're going to play this song one more time and that time I want you to make sure that you join up all your bow strokes smoothly. So rather than going <coughs> this way I've got little rests in between every individual note and that's not what we want. What we want is to join these notes up smoothly. I'm hoping you can hear the difference. So not good as this. So your bow keeps moving as much as you can. Of course there is a moment when you change from one bow into the next where you go stand still for a split second but don't make it any longer than that. So aim to play smooth and flowingly with your bow. Shall we try that and add that to our technique of things? I'll count us in for four, so let's get ready on the E string. One, two, three, four. And especially at this level when everything is so challenging you want to work on all of these little things individually like we've done just now now this time we'll play this song one more time in a minute but this time I want you to double check your bow hold and I want you to double check again and we've seen this many times but I want you to keep perfecting this bow stroke um, this bow hold all the time is I want you to make that little ring between your thumb and your middle finger and your thumb goes right there in that little corner so that's that one there now I know that this corner here so that one cries out for your thumb but it's not the right place so can you check over one more time today that your thumb is right there pop your middle finger over pop your ring finger and your index finger down and now your pinky and your pinky comes right on the side edge there okay so i've got a gap here and i've got a gap there now it may be good uh, a good idea it may be a good idea to do some bow exercises now so that we encourage that bow arm to become and your your bow hand to become more and more flexible as you go along so do me some waves like this now do some windscreen wipers, see if you can keep that same bow hold going all the time. Lovely stuff. Okay, let's hold the bow upright now. And this is what some people call crab crawling. Okay, go all the way up to the point of the bow. And once you have reached the point of the bow, go back again, step by step. If you find that very difficult, make the steps a little smaller. There we go. Take your time here. Because all that time you are practicing the control that you have on your, on your finger muscles. So once you've got back to the heel of the bow, find that nice bow hold again. Remember to bend your thumb underneath. 
my middle finger is precisely opposite and my pinky is on the side edge. Right. So now we're going to put everything together. So you play with a beautiful bow hold. You're going to set the bow on the string each time before you play. You're going to do these little circles and you're going to connect all the notes together rather than play separate bows. Not that, remember? But really smoothly. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Rest on the string. That's it. On the string before you go. Smoothly now. Rest on the string. That's it. Adjust your elbow. today. I'm in awe of you for sticking with me and sorting all these techniques out one by one. Great! If you have any comments or questions do write them in the comment section below please. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel please can you do so now as well. I very much look forward to seeing you in the next lesson where we're going to be using the first finger. So for now goodbye 